imagine you have to be on the stage in front of 50 people and present to them your business plan for the next year how do you impress those 50 people with your presentation i am bhavna and today we are going to learn how to make professional looking presentation with libreoffice impress the application software that can create professional looking visual aids is called presentation graphics software some examples of presentation softwares are adobe acrobat k presenter open office impress ms powerpoint libreoffice impress etc here we are going to specifically focus on libreoffice impress LibreOffice Impress is most common example of presentation program which is developed by Document Foundation. It is a part of the LibreOffice suite and is a GUI based software. LibreOffice Impress includes tools for word processing, outlining, drawing, graphics, etc. LibreOffice suite is available for Windows, Mac OS and multiple distros of Linux like Ubuntu. Let's open our first presentation with Impress by clicking on the Impress icon on your desktop. Once opened, the main window appears on the screen. The components of a Impress window are as follows. Title bar. This is the uppermost bar of Impress window in which the name of this program and the presentation file open at that time is shown. This bar also contains three control buttons on its right hand side. Ruler. There are two rulers as horizontal and vertical which are used to set various margins quickly. We can show or hide these rulers by setting or resetting rulers option in view tab. Now work area. Just above the horizontal ruler and to the right of vertical ruler there is a work area which occupies most of the part of impress window and in which all objects and elements elements of sites are placed generally one slide is open in the work area which is called the current slide now let's talk about the slide pane this part of window displays miniature of slides by clicking on any miniature in this pane we can make any slide as current slide and do any work on it now status bar. This is the bottom most strip of impress main window. In this area, many useful information about the presentation are displayed. Now let's talk about the menu bar. When you select an item on the menu bar, a sub menu drop down will appear. Tabs on menu bar are as follows. The file tab contains options as new, open, save, send, print, printer settings, etc. And edit tab contains options as cut, copy, paste, undo, redo, find, find and replace, etc. Let's talk about the view tab. It contains options as normal slide sorter, master slide, toolbars, rulers, common slide bar, zoom, etc. And insert tab contains options of image, audio, video, media, chart, text box, slide number, form control, etc. Now let's talk about the format tab. It contains options as text, spacing, align, character, paragraph, image, shadow, animation, etc. The slide tab contains options as new slide, duplicate slide, master slide, rename slide, hide slide, etc. Let's talk about the slideshow tab. It contains options as start from the first slide, start from current slide, rehearse timings, custom slideshow, etc. And tool tabs contains options as spellings, automatic spell check, spell checking language, autocorrect options, forms, macros, etc. Window tab contains options as new window, close window, etc. The help tab contains options as LibreOffice help, send feedback, restart in safe mode, donate to LibreOffice, check for updates, etc. We also have a slide bar. 
it is located by default on the right side of the impress window. But if it is not displaying on the window, you can show this by following. Click on the view tab, then select the slide bar option from the drop down that appears. Impress slide bar contains seven decks as properties, slide transition, animation, master slides, styles, gallery, navigator, which show by clicking on its icon. Now, how do you open an existing presentation? When you want to open an existing presentation that you have recently created, you can choose the presentation from the recent documents list given at file tab. And to do this, follow these steps. Number one, click the file tab. Then click on the desired file from recent documents list, which is on the right side at file tab and then the chosen presentation will open. Now, how do we create a new presentation? In Impress, we can create presentations either by using some pre-built templates or we can start with a blank presentation. In Impress, a template is called a design of presentation slide. You can select any template that suits your needs. To create a presentation based on template, follow the following steps. Click on File tab from the drop-down list. Then select New and Presentation. Then a Select a Template dialog box will appear. Select a template which you would like to have and click on Open button. Normally, when you open Impress window, Select a Template dialog box will appear. But if you are working on a blank presentation, you have to follow the following steps like click on the file tab from the drop down menu click on new and then click the presentation select a template box will appear now click on cancel button and a new blank presentation will appear on the impress window now we have a new presentation and we need to add some text to it now how do we do it in impress working on text is similar to libreoffice writer here, you can place your text either in the text box or a placeholder. On a blank slide of a presentation, you can add text, pictures, images, etc. Simply click in the appropriate text box and type your text. The text can be formatted like bold, italic, etc. You can also apply design themes on your slides. If you want to add a title in a slide, Click in the placeholder that is displaying. Click to add title. Similarly, you can also add bulleted text on your slide. You can also edit the text as per your requirement. Now, if you want to repeat an entire sentence, you can use the copy and paste commands. To copy the text, follow the given steps. Select the text that you want to copy. Click on edit tab. Click copy icon and press Ctrl plus C short key together or you can also right click on the selected text and simply choose the copy option. Now click that place where you want to paste this text. Click on the edit tab, click paste icon or press Ctrl plus V short key together or you can also click and choose the paste option. If you want to move the text or an object you can use cut and paste commands. To cut a text or an object, simply follow the given steps. Select the text that you want to move. Now click on the edit tab option and click cut icon or you can also press Ctrl plus X short keys together or right click and select the cut option. Now click on the place where you want to insert this text. Click on the edit tab Click the paste icon or press the Ctrl plus V short key together or right click and then choose the paste option. Sometimes we do make mistakes while making the presentation. Now how do we revert our mistakes? We can simply use the undo command. Undo command is used to erase the last change done in the document, reverting it to the older state. To undo a change, 
click undo option from the standard toolbar or press Ctrl plus Z short key together. Now similarly, redo command is the reverse of undo. The redo command is used to reverse the undo or advances the buffer to a more current state. To redo an action, go to the standard toolbar and select redo option or press Ctrl plus Y short key together. Now there are times when you wish to delete something from the presentation. Now to delete the text, simply select the text to be deleted and click on delete or backspace button on the keyboard. Now note that delete button erases to the right of cursor, whereas backspace erases, erases to the left of the cursor. Now if you wish to add some new slides to your presentation, how would you do it? When you want to add a slide to the presentation, do the following steps. First, click on slide tab. Now click the new slide option and then a new slide will insert in your presentation. And when you want to delete a slide from the presentation, do the following step. First, select the slide which you want to delete. And now click on slide tab, then click delete slide option. And a slide will delete from your presentation. You have now done some work on your presentation that you don't wish to lose. You can now save the presentation. And to save a presentation, follow the following steps. First, Select save or save as command from this file tab. By this, save as dialog box will appear. Now type the name of the presentation file in file name box. Now the type of the file is selected from the save as type list box. And then after this, click on save button. Your file will be saved to storage. But please note, to save the presentation file with different name, save as command is used. You now have text added to the slide that you need. Great, but you need to make your presentation impactful by adding some pictures or some tables to display your data. Now how to do it? In LibreOffice Impress, you can add not only text but also add pictures or any object on the slides. Materials consisting of text and numbers is best presented as a table slide. So to insert a table, you can perform the following steps. Number one, select the slide in which you want to add a table. Number two, on the insert tab, click the table option. Insert table dialog box will appear. Now enter the number of rows and columns in respective field. Now click on OK button. Impress also lets you add some pre-built images in the form of clip arts. To add a clip part on a Impress slide, you have to perform the following steps. Number one, click gallery option from the sidebar. Now gallery task pane will appear. Number two, select the category below new theme button and related clip art of that category will appear on the screen. Now, Select and drag the desired clip art onto your slide. You can even insert your own images to the presentation. And to insert an image in a slide, do the following steps. Number one, select the slide on which you want to add an image. Number two, click the insert tab and image option. The insert image dialog box will appear. And number four, find the image that you want to insert and click the image to select it. And number five, click the open button. So selected image will add to the current slide. And if you wish to add other objects like drawings, formulas, spreadsheets, etc., you can do the following by doing the following steps. Number one, select insert tab. Now select object option. A drop down menu will appear on the screen. Now Select formula for inserting formulas. Number one, select OLE object. An insert OLE object dialog box will appear on the screen. Then choose object type from the object type list and click OK button. And once you have added an object, image or a clip art, you might need to resize it or scale it. And to resize an object, 
do the following steps. Number one, select the object that you want to resize by clicking it. Number two, drag any corner handle with mouse pointer and this will resize your picture. Now, release the mouse button when the object becomes in the desired size. And to scale an object, you need to do the following steps. Number one, select an object that you want to scale. Number two, click the format tab and then object and shape. Then click position and size. And number three, the position and size dialog box will appear on the screen. And number four, in position and size dialog box, choose the height and width of an object. Now that you have added text and objects to your presentation, you need a master slide to give your presentation an impactful appearance. A master slide is a slide that is used at, as the starting point of other slides. A slide presentation can have more than one master slides. So to create a slide master, perform the following steps. Number one, select the view tab, then select the master slide. Number two, when a slide master is open for editing, it contains five areas as shown below. To apply a slide master to all the slides in your presentation, follow the steps. Number one, in the sidebar, click on the master slides icon to open the master slides section. Number two, to apply one of the slide masters to all the slides in your presentation, right click on the slide master you want to use and select apply to all slides on the context menu. Now, if you wish to apply a different slide master to one or more selected slides, follow the steps. Number one, in the sidebar, click on the master slides icon to open the master slide section. Number two, in the slide pane, select slide or slides where you want to use a new slide master. Number three, in the sidebar, Right click on the slide master you want to apply to the selected slides and then select apply to selected slides on the context menu. We now have a presentation that not only gives you information but is also beautiful to look at. But how do we present it? In Impress, to view the presentation of slides, various views are used. First up, we have the normal view. It is the main editing view where you can write and design your presentations. In this view, the impress window is divided into two parts. The left part is called slide pane. It has one tab, one tab sheet slide. In slides tab sheet, all slides in presentation are displayed in a small version. User can choose any slide to view it in a bigger form and on right side, the current slide is displayed. Next up, we have the slide sorter view. In this view, miniature version of slides are arranged on the screen. You can reorder them and see more slides at one time. For this view, go to the view tab. Now click slide sorter option. A slide sorter view dialog box will appear on the screen. Now moving forward, we have notes view. This view shows a smaller version of the style with an area below for printed notes. Each slide is created on its own note page. These notes appear on a printout but do not appear on the screen during the presentation. So to access this view, go to view tab. Now click the notes option. Next up, we have the slideshow view. In this view, the computer screen is completely filled by a single slide. And this view is used for the rehearsal or actual slideshow and user cannot make any changes during this view. So for this view, press F5 key from the keyboard. Next up, we have the slide master view. So outlining tools are used in master view. To make slide in master view, Go to the view tab, click on master slide option. After clicking on master slide option, the slide master view dialog box will appear on the screen. Now moving forward, we have master handout view. 
You can view all slides together by clicking this view. To access this view, go to the view tab. Master hand now click the master handout option and a master handout view dialog box will appear. In this view, on the top left corner, a header appears and on the top right corner, a date column appears. In mid section, all slides appear and in the bottom, footer on the left side and page number on the right sides appear. Finally, we have the master notes view. So to access this view, click on view tab. Now click on the master notes option and then a master notes view dialog box will appear. This view is used to make the speaker's notes. With the help of these notes, a presenter can present its slide with ease. Now that we have the presentation screen ready, we will set up the slideshow. So for that, first click on the slideshow tab. Now click on the slideshow settings option. Slideshow setting dialog box will appear. Then the dialog box has the following sections. Range. In this section, you can choose all the slides or a particular slide. Then we have the presentation mode. In this section, you can choose mode of presentation as full screen, inner window, etc. Now we have the options. In this section, you can choose slide change manually or mouse pointer is visible on the slide, etc. In Impress, the Slideshow tab offers advanced settings for customizing the slideshow, including adding narration and altering the presentation resolution. So there are several different ways to start the slideshow. Number one, you can simply press F5 key to start the presentation. Number two, you can click on the slideshow tab and select any one of the following. Start from first slide, click on it, start the slideshow from very first slide, start from the current slide, click on it to start slideshow from current slide. Now the custom slideshow. Click on the custom slideshows, a custom slideshows dialog box will appear. In this dialog box, you can set your desired settings. You have now created an impactful and informative presentation that also looks good. But you somehow feel that your slides should have some special effects. Special effects used to in introduce slides in a presentation are called transition. So slide transitions are the animation like effects that occur in slideshow view while moving from one slide to the next during an on-screen presentation. The speed of each slide transition effect can be controlled and sound effects can also be added to a slide. So Impress supports different types of built-in transition effects like cut, dissolve, wipe and many more. To apply the transition effects on a slide, you need to follow the following steps. Number one, select the slide on which transition effects are to be applied. Then view tab, select the transition option and choose any one of the transition from transition gallery to see the effect of that transition or click the mouse to see the effect. Number three, if you want to set the speed of a transition during a slideshow, use the modify transition section. And number four, to set the sound during slideshow, choose sound option. Now, if you want to apply the changes to all the slides, Choose Apply Transition to All Slides. You can also automate a slideshow by simply selecting automatically after in the Advanced Slide section. Now that we have the presentation ready, how about we make the text a bit more aesthetic? You can change the format of the text such as bold, size, italic, alignment, font size, font color, font style, etc. So to change the font style or color of a text typed on a slide, it's, it is known as the text formatting. And to format the text, follow the following steps. Number one, select the text that you want to change. Now number two, click the view tab. Then click toolbars and then 
click on the text formatting option. A text formatting toolbar will appear on the screen below the standard toolbar. Now here you can see a font name drop down list. Select any font that you want to set. Then to change the size of selected text, click at the font size box. And after this, you can see a font size drop down list. And select any size that you want to set. With the help of text formatting toolbar, you can bold, italic and underline the selected text. These options are shown in the button form. Similarly, you can change the text color and even align your text. Let's now add some videos and audios to our presentation. So to add a movie or sound, you need to follow the given steps. Number one, click where you want to insert the file. Number two, choose the insert option and click on the audio or video option. Now audio or video dialog box will appear on the screen. Now select the file that you want to insert. And after this, click on op open button. Now we are ready to present. But what if we have to print this presentation for everyone in the audience? We do need some headers, footers and notes. So headers and footers are respectively printed on the top and bottom of the slide. They can include both the text and pictures. Example, you can add page number, date, company's logo, the title of the presentation, etc. in the header and footer. So for including header and footer in your presentation, you need to follow the given steps. Number one, click on insert tab and then click header and footer command. Number two, by doing so, the header and footer dialog box will appear. Number three, the dialog box has two tab slides, notes and handouts. So the slides tab has following options, date and time. If you, if user wants to put date and time in header, click on this option. By doing so, two radio buttons will activate. Click on variable button to automatically update the date and click on fix, fix the date. Now the, about the footer. To insert some text in the footer part of the slide, check this option and enter the text. Now slide number. If user wants to put serial number on each slide, click on this checkbox. Number four. If user wants to keep these changes only on single slide, then click apply. Otherwise, click on apply to all. Then number five. Apart from this, if user wants to add notes or handouts on header and footer, click on notes and handouts tab from header and footer dialog box. And number six, now set the desired option and click on apply to all button. So once you have added the headers and footers, you can print the presentation. The following steps are required to print the slides and handouts. Number one, choose the print command from the file tab or you can press Ctrl plus P short key. By doing so, the print dialog box will appear. Then. This dialog box has four steps, general, LibreOffice impress, page layout and options. So the general tab has following options, printer. In this section, the name of printer is entered, range and copies. In this section, the serial numbers of those slides which are to be printed are entered. The number of printouts of per slide is entered in this section. That is how many copies of a page is to be printed. Now the print option. In this section, a drop down list will appear. The drop down list contains slides, handouts, outline and note, notes option. So the user can choose any one of them. And after all these settings, click OK button. And all the slides will start to print. Now there's a task for you. You have to create a presentation on computers and send it to me at IamLearningComputers at gmail.com. Get your presentation ready and we will learn how to send the email in a later video. 
I will meet you again in the next video. Till then, have a nice day.